The rapture will take place before 2023. Be prepared. Many of the events in Christ's life provide prophetic hints about the year he will return. No man on earth can accurately foresee the future, yet many have tried. It is said that the rapture will take place before 2023. Is it true? What are the signs and evidence for this prophecy? Let's find out. 2030, the church will be raptured, Israel will be restored, and the messianic age of 1,000 years will begin when Jesus returns. Prophecy also reveals the seven years of plenty believers have, starting in 2016, to be ready for the test that is about to fall upon the whole world, the tribulation. The legend of St. Malachi, who predicted that only 112 popes would reign before the end of the world, began around 1143. The end of the world will occur in the early 21st century, since Pope Benedict is the 111th. Peter of Rome will be the name of the final pope as predicted by Malachi. What happens next can only be determined by time. In his book, The Cassandra Prophecy, Armageddon Approaches, Ian Gurney claims that the last day, Judgment Day, the end of mankind's existence on this planet is less than 22 years away from the year 2001. This would place the end of the world in the year 2023. Pastor Chris Oyakalom predicted that the much-discussed rapture would occur no later than September 2020. If the rapture doesn't happen in the next three years, it will happen in the next six years, and it won't take longer than 10 years, says the leader of Love World Ministries, also known as Christ Embassy. The second coming of Jesus will take place in 2030. To those who would laugh at the hope of his return, where is the promise of his coming? A day is like a thousand years with the Lord, Peter said, and a thousand years are like a day. Specifically, 2 Peter 3, 3-8. Three First, Jesus foretold the church's 2,000-year age by spending two days with the woman at the well. Jesus waited across the Jordan for an extra two days before heading to Bethany to raise Lazarus from the dead, and he said it would be another 2,000 years before he would come again to do it again. So, when he learned that he was sick, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. In John 11:6, 3, we learned that Hosea foretold that Christ would return on the third day to resurrect Israel. You can expect both of them to take place in the same calendar year. Only one year separates the end of the second millennium era from the start of the third millennium era after his ascension, and that year is 2030. I will go away and return to my place until they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face. He will revive us after two days. He will raise us on the third day. Hosea 5, 15 through 6, 3. In the year 30 AD, Jesus Christ died, was resurrected from the dead, and ascended into heaven. When the Lord returns, which will be in 2023, the tribulation will begin. But immediately following the tribulation of those days, people will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of the sky with great force and glory. Verse 5. See verses 29 and 30 of Matthew 24. The Lord makes it quite clear that he will come at the seventh trumpet of Revelation just after the tribulation. Colossians 1, 26-27. Revelation 10, 7. Matthew 24, 20-31. 1 Corinthians 15, 51. If the tribulation begins in 2023 and lasts for seven years, then we're looking at a date of 2023 as the beginning of the tribulation. Daniel 9, 27. 2016. Seven robust years to brace for the tribulation. Dream of the Pharaoh. Pharaoh dreamed that seven plump cows were devoured by seven skinny cows and that seven stalks of grain were devoured by seven withering stalks of grain while Joseph was in prison in Egypt. When the two years were up, Pharaoh had a dream in which he was standing by the Nile, and behold, seven beefy cows emerged from the Nile to munch on the marsh grass. Then, lo and behold, seven other cows came up from the Nile after them, also looking awful and thin, and they joined the first group of cows on the riverbank, bank, 
the seven slim and fat cows were devoured by the ugly and haggard cows. Bible verses 41, 1 through 4. When a dream needed to be deciphered, they came to Joseph. A worldwide famine lasting seven years was predicted as the result of Pharaoh's dream. In addition, it predicted a period of plenty lasting seven years before the famine. During this seven-year agricultural boom, Joseph was tasked with storing grain in preparation for the predicted seven-year famine. The seven-year tribulation seen in Pharaoh's dream is a prophecy. During the tribulation, the globe will experience a famine on a scale never seen before. I heard the third living being call out to me as he opened the third seal. I saw a black horse and the rider had a set of balanced scales, a quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not spoil the oil and the wine. I thought I heard a voice say from the center of the four living beings. The Bible verses at issue here are Revelation 6, 5, and 6. According to Pharaoh's vision, there will be seven years of plenty before the tribulation. However, the seven years of plenty in Pharaoh's dream are often omitted in predictions of the end of the world from the Bible. Joseph was able to save up and be ready for the seven years of famine by taking advantage of the seven years of plentiful harvest predicted in Pharaoh's dream. The land yielded a bountiful harvest throughout the seven years of prosperity. As a result, Joseph amassed all the harvests from the seven years of famine in Egypt and stored them in the towns. Reference chapter 41, verse 47 of the book of Genesis. There must be a time of preparation, a season of grace for the Christians if there are to be seven years of plenty shortly before the tribulation. The Lord will give the church and Israel seven years to get ready, but the rest of the world will be blissfully unaware of the hour of testing, that hour which is to come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Verses 10 of the book of Revelation. 2016 will mark the beginning of a prosperous seven-year period. Since the return of Christ is scheduled for the year 2030, and the tribulation is set to begin seven years before that, we can anticipate seven years of plenty beginning in 2016. In light of what the Bible indicates will happen during the tribulation, believers who are familiar with the prophecy should use these seven years to prepare themselves spiritually and strategically. Behold, I have warned you, this is the church's mandate. To help the elect during the tribulation, we can cite specific passages from the Bible. Make sure you are not being led astray by anyone. It is predicted that many deceiving prophets and instructors will appear under his name. They will hand you over to tribulation and kill you. You will be hated by all countries because of my name. Many will turn away and betray one another and hate one another. But the one who endures to the end will be saved physically in the rapture. 3. Matthew 24, 9, 13 to 16. Judeans are commanded to seek refuge in the mountains when you see the abomination of desolation standing in the holy place. Jews in Israel need to go immediately. Mark 12, 15 to 22. Fourth, every eye shall see him, not only believers, for the arrival of the Son of Man will be like the lightning that flashes in the east and is visible in the west. Reject the teachings of those who claim Christ will return invisibly or in secret, but stay vigilant at all times, praying for strength to avoid what is coming and to stand before the Son of Man. Matthew 24, 27, Revelation 1, 7, Luke 21, 36. Revelation chapters 4 through 6 were addressed to the people who would be alive throughout the tribulation and the second coming of Christ, according to Matthew 24, 34 and Revelations 2 and 3. In the 2026-27 winter season, the abomination of desolation will occur. Since the tribulation begins between Pentecost and the fall feasts in 2023, according to a schedule predicated on Christ's return in 2030, the abomination of desolation must occur in the winter of 2026-27, or three and a half years before Christ's returns. 
and for one week he will make a firm commitment with many, but amid that week he will put an end to sacrifice and grain offering, and on the wings of abominations will one who makes desolate. Bible verse, Bible verse cited, Daniel 9, 27. For 42 months they will walk all around Jerusalem. Verses 2 and 11 of the book of Revelation. This ends the video for today. What are your thoughts on this prophecy? Share with us in the comments. Also, like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos.